Our dear student of class 11, I'll continue with principle of mathematical induction. The question is, question number 91, 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cube plus dot 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 plus up to 3 to the power n equals to half into 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n. First of all, I'll consider this given quantity is equals to pn. Let pn is equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square plus 1 by 3 cubed dot to 1 by 3 to the power n equals to half 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n. Now the same method that I'm going to apply, whatever I did in previous video, the same method that I'm going to apply over here also, putting n is equals to 1 in LHS and RHS. In this question, LHS is LHS is equals to 1 by 3 to the power n. Now then I'll substitute in place of n, I'll substitute 1. It is 1 by 3. This is left hand side. Now similarly, I'll consider right hand side. The right hand side is half into 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power n. Now then, on right hand side also, I'm going to substitute 1. 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 3. Now then, I'll take LCM. 3, 1 the 3 minus 1 is 2 by 3. 2 to get cancelled, it is 1 upon 3. Now again, we have over here left hand side is equals to the right hand side. The first property is proved. Then we can say, therefore, P1 is true. Now next step is, if after proving this Pn is true, next is I'll substitute n equals to n. Putting n is equals to m. The entire series that you have to write, Pm is equals to 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 square by 3 cubed plus dot 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 up to 1 over 3 to the power m is equals to half into 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power m. Pm series is always true. Therefore, the conclusion P1 is true then Pm is also true when it's true then pm is also true now next is the m plus one is third step is very very important now then putting n is equals to m plus one putting n is equals to m plus one now <coughs> we just substitute n is equals to m plus one okay now then the first of all what you have to do is you have to write the m series enter m series starting with p m plus one then p m plus one is equals to one by three plus one by three square plus one by three cubed plus up to one by three to the power n now then i'll leave some space over in the left hand side equals to half equals to half into 1 minus 1 over 3 to the power m plus i leave some space over here also the right hand side now how to fill up these two spaces now then i'll substitute n is equals to m plus 1 over here what we'll get n is equals to m plus 1 in left hand side we'll get 1 over 3 to the power m plus 1 then we'll write 1 over 3 to the power m plus 1 over here also 1 over 3 to the power m plus 1 now then after getting this now then you have to simplify this right hand side plus 1 over 3 to the power m plus 1 and then what will be your answer your answer will be half into 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power m plus 1 should be your answer the correct answer is half 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power 
n plus 1 over here in place of n we must have n plus 1 now after solving this I will try to prove this quantity 3 to the power n plus 1 now open this bracket it will be half int minus 1 by 2 into 3 to the power m plus 1 by I'll write this 3 to the power m plus 1 as 3 to the power m into 3 to the power 1 half minus now from these two expression I'll take minus 1 by 3 to the power m common now if I take minus 1 by 3 to the power m common this one will be what remain inside the bracket half minus 1 by 3 again I'll take LCM over here 6 is the LCM 3 minus 2 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 to the power m into 1 over 6 now then from these two expression again I'll take half common if I take half common this one will be 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power m into 1 by 3 then using indices half 1 minus 1 by 3 to the power m into 1 by 3 is 1 over 3 to the power m plus 1 now this is the final result now the conclusion that I'm going to write therefore pm is true then pm plus 1 is also true this one is also true therefore the given induction is true the final conclusion Now, student, another question 10 sub part 2 same principle of mathematical induction I'll consider let pn is equals to 1 over 2 into 5 plus 1 over 5 into 8 plus 1 over 8 into 11 plus dot 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 plus 1 over 3n minus 1 into 3n plus 2 is equals to 6 n over n over 6 n plus 4 the first step that you have to satisfy over here the putting n is equals to putting n is equals to 1 in LHS and RHS putting n is equals to 1 in LHS and RHS LHS is LHS is equals to 1 over 3n minus 1 into 3n plus 2 now then I'll substitute 1 1 over 3 into 1 minus 1 3 into 1 plus 2 now after simplification this one will be 3 into 1 is 3 3 minus 1 is 2 into 3 into 1 is 3 3 plus 2 is 5 5 to the 10 left hand side is 1 over 10 similarly I'll consider right hand side RHS is equals to RHS is n over 6n plus 4 I'll substitute 1 1 over 6 into 1 plus 4 1 over 6 into 1 is 6 6 plus 4 10 again in this case left hand side is equals to right hand side therefore p1 is true p1 is true next is putting putting n is equals to m m series is always true pm is equals to 1 over 2 into 5 plus 1 over 5 into 8 plus 1 over to 11 it will be 1 over 3m minus 1 into 3m plus 
2 is equals to m over 6m plus 4. This is always true. Therefore, therefore p1 is true then pm is also true now the third step is important now then the third step is putting n is equals to m plus 1 then you have to write the entire m series starting with pm plus 1 the m series is over here all right pm plus 1 pm plus 1 is equals to 1 over 2 into 5 plus 1 over 5 into 8 plus 1 over 8 into 11 plus dot 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 1 over the same thing 3m minus 1 into 3m plus 2 I'm going to leave some space over here equals to the m series that you have to write m over 6m plus 4 plus space now say you know what this things how to fill up the space now then I'll do the rock fork over here try to understand now then I'll substitute n is equals to m plus 1 in left hand side whatever after simplification the whatever the quantity will get will write over here in a blank space now the left hand side is 1 over 1 over 3 n plus 2 now then I'll substitute over here 1 over 3 into m plus 1 minus 1 into 3 into m plus 1 plus 2 now after simplification let's see what we'll get 3m plus 3 minus 1 into 3m plus 3 plus 2 1 over 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5 we're getting after simplification we're getting this so this quantity that i'm going to write in both left hand side and right hand side it will be 1 over 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5 and over here the same thing i'm going to write 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5 now then the student now then you have to simplify this right hand side quantity and your answer should be the answer is given by right hand side the answer solution i'll do right hand side is n over 6n plus 4 after simplification this quantity right hand side quantity this after simplification of this your answer should be m plus 1 over 6 m plus 1 plus 4 your answer should be this after simplification of this quantity now then I'll show you how to simplify this one What's that? now we have right hand side is our right hand side is m over 6m plus 4 plus 1 over 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5 now then I'll simplify this one now say so from these two expression I'll take two common m over if I take two common it will be 3m plus 2 plus 1 over 3m plus 2 into 3m plus 5 now in this section the common is now say if I take common from these two I'll take 1 over 3m plus 2 common what remain inside m by 2 plus 1 over 
3m plus 5. Now then I'll simplify this one, the square bracket quantity, 1 over 3m plus 2. What is LCM over here? 2 into 3m plus 5. Then this one will be m into 3m plus 5 plus 2. one over three m plus two into three m square plus five m plus two over two into three m plus five now then i'll solve over here now the say in a numerator we can now factorize the numerator 3m plus 2 into 3 to the 6 it is 3m square plus 3m plus 2m plus 2 2 into 3m plus 5 1 over 3m plus 2 from this two expression we can take 3m common it will be m plus 1 plus 2 common it is m plus 1 divided by 2 into 3m plus 5 again it is 1 over 3m plus 2 m plus 1 is common into 3m plus 2 that is if I multiply the numerator it will be 6m plus 10 now these two quantities get cancelled over here now say I'll try to adjust the our final result should be now I'll already show you our final result should be like this and then that you have to adjust these things over here. I'll add this over here. So it is m plus 1, 6m plus 10. The final result is the final result must be this m plus 1, 6 into m plus 1 plus 4. So I'll write this quantity as m plus 1. 6m plus 6 plus 4. You can break the stain into 6 plus 4. Now then I'll take LCM. Sorry, not LCM, common. 6 common. It will be m plus 1 plus 4. In place of n, we are getting n plus 1. See, now see, I've already shown you the answer, final answer. This one is the final answer. And the same thing we are getting over here. So this induction is true. Therefore, the conclusion, therefore, PM is true then pm plus 1 is also true therefore the given induction is true now say so for from first i did these things and the method is over here after this after getting this one the right hand side i did in another piece the continuation piece is over here it would be better student take a screenshot of this and then copy and this was for today now next class will be of mathematical induction but i'll send you some solved numericals thank you